All right, well, well, how y'all doing, man? It's Breezy, Bashar Breeland, as you know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna start off by giving my farewell to Kansas City, you know what I mean? I, I, I really wanna uh, allow myself to really uh, tell the fans how, how much I appreciated my time there, the two years that I was there uh, with them. I, I learned a lot. Uh, it was a good part of my development. Um, and it's not a real, it's a farewell, but it's not a breakup, you know what I mean? It was never done on bad terms. And sometimes when one door, closes, another one open. And now I'm here with, with the Minnesota Vikings, and I want to thank the Vikings organization for giving me another chance to uh, showcase my talent in the NFL. Awesome, we'll start with Joe Schmidt. Welcome to Minnesota, Bashad. Um, just wondering why you thought Minnesota was a good fit and, and how the contract negotiations, uh, you know, kind of went from going slow to all of a sudden boom, you signed. Uh, how you doing, Joe? Uh, first and foremost, uh, I mean, my, it was easy. It was, it was really easy uh, when I when I came and got had my visit, and I I, I was able to really uh, communicate with everybody in the organization. Uh, it, it was all love, you know what I mean? At, at the time, you know what I mean? Contracts, negotiation, and talk uh, kind of slowed up uh, during the, the, that process uh, after the visit. Uh, then we finally came to agreement, and I'm here now, and I'm ready to really help the Vikings uh, get to some, you know what I'm saying, that I, that I know experience and I know that this team can be. Uh, by the past two days I've been here, uh, the chemistry and, and the love that the, each player got for each other, uh, you know what I mean, is glorious. And that's what you need, the chemistry to get to the big dance. Um, you know, I, I ended up having surgery on, on my shoulder uh, after this season in Kansas City. So it kind of slowed my uh, free agency up. Uh, and during that time, I, I, I was uh, allowed to really focus on myself. It really wasn't about ball. It was all about uh, Breezy at the time. And I knew this time would come, and I'm fired up to get, get started. Eric Smith? Yeah, Bertrand, um, you, you've obviously only been here a few days, but we, we saw you working with Mike Zimmer a little bit one-on-one -on -one at the start of practice. What was, what was that kind of drill you were doing, and, and what's your interaction been with them so far? Man, he, he was really showing me how, how, how to really get my feet moving and stay on top of the receiver. Uh, and a coach like that, to really walk around and really, you know, he, he's a defensive-minded coach. He, he loved the corners. Uh, I never really had that uh, type of head coach, uh, so, so it's kind of new. And the, 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 the energy that, that he brings and, and gives his, his players uh, before practice, uh, you know what I mean? He's a nice, subtle guy. He moved quietly, but at the same time, when he talked, he speak. Uh, and uh, he, he, taught, he was teaching Pat, Pat P the technique, uh, you know what I mean? He looked over at me and was like, oh, what you looking at? Why you ain't out here? You know what I mean? I'm like, one, you teach one, you teach all of us, uh, you know what I mean? But he still made me come out there to really get my own rep and get the own feel. Uh, and, you know what I mean? He, he showed each player that they, they, they're their own person and he treated everybody accordingly. Hey. Hey, Bashad, how you doing? How you doing? Good. Yeah, where do you see yourself fitting into this defense? Um, are you an outside guy, inside guy, or, you know, where do you see yourself kind of lining up on Sundays? Man, if you leave it to me, man, I feel like I can play every position in the secondary. But, uh, you know what I mean? You got to be a master one before you're a master none. Uh, and I, I feel like they brought me in to be an outside corner. Uh, and that, that's what they want me to bring uh, to this team, bring my physicality and really uh, allow myself to really to come in and, and help these uh, younger guys develop uh, doing their journey and their, their career. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm eight years in now. Uh, a lot of they got a young group uh, beside Patrick Peterson. So I get the best of both worlds. I can get to come learn under Harrison Smith and Patrick Peterson, as well as get my knowledge to the young guys as well. Uh, and really bring the juice and the spunk and the energy to the team, man. You know what I mean? Andrew? Hey, Bishad, you started this off by talking about Kansas City. How difficult was it for you to move on from there? And, and were you hoping that you could return to there before coming to Minnesota? Uh, Andrew, uh, that, that's a good question right there. Uh, but you know what I mean? During that time in Kansas City, uh, you know what I'm saying? My, my heart was sold on staying in Kansas City at the time. Uh, it didn't work that way. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I stated before, like when one door closes, another one open. Uh, and the Minnesota Vikings, they, they really gave me that, that opportunity to, to come in and, and, and really provide my, my skill set to the team. And I, I thank them for it, and I'm ready to get going and, and do whatever I can to get, get to that dance. Lindsay? 
Hi, Bashad. Uh, welcome to the team and to Minnesota. I'm just curious if you had, obviously you're, you're a vet in the league. So do you have relationships with anybody on the team already? And then kind of um, adding on to that, obviously OTAs are not mandatory, but how helpful has it been to jump in right away and get to know um, some of your teammates, your new teammates? Yeah, uh, it, it's some 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 guys that, I, that I'm, I are familiar faces that I know uh, from playing against. Uh, Mackenzie Alexander, I went to school with him uh, in Clemson University. I played with Kirk Cousin at uh, uh, Washington Redskins. We actually was the same pick, uh, fourth round, 102 uh, at the time. Uh, but OTAs is a chance to really build that camaraderie. And I don't even feel like the newbie when I when I got here. Everybody really welcomed me in. You know what I'm saying? It was really easy for me to really open up and, and, and feel like I want to uh, really get to know these guys. They, they made it easy for me. You know what I mean? I didn't have to come in and try to figure nobody out. Everybody's personality was, was already there. All I had to do was come in and just show them who I am other than trying to get to know everybody else. Hey, Bashad, is it breezy or beezy? It's breezy. Yeah. Breezy, okay, breezy. good. I want to make sure I had that correct first. Um, what, what do you think was the key to your improvement from last year specifically? I know that a couple, I mean, I don't know if you care about pro football focus or not, but they rated you like the most like improved defender from last year. What for you personally clicked or what might have changed? Uh, it was, this, last year was my first year really in a, in a system with all the coaches, all the players that I played with. Uh, you know what I mean? My, during my time my career, I was playing plugged in with different players, plugged in with different coaches. So, you know what I mean? Like, different coaches had different methods. Uh, and I was finally able to really hone in on one method and make the most of it. You know what I mean? So, so last year, I would say I was the most comfortable, uh, comfortable in, in my career uh, during that time because of those uh, aspects. Sam? Just uh, jumping off of that last answer, Bashad, do you think that that method that you got, you know, pretty comfortable with at Kansas City, is that something that you'll be able to take with you here to Minnesota, or do you think you'll have to sort of adjust to to what the nuances of this defensive scheme are as well? Uh, I mean, it's pretty similar. And at the end of the day, football is football. You know what I mean? Cover four is cover four, cover three is cover three. You have your, your terminology that I have to get used to. But there's a lot of veteran guys that that, that mixed in with, with this defense that really going to allow me to, to, to get up to speed quickly. Uh, every, uh, there's no one here that really hiding information. Uh, I ask questions that give me the proper answers. Uh, so, so it's like it, they, they, they willing to teach and I'm willing to learn. So I feel like it's going to be a great fit. Back to Eric. Bashad, you mentioned uh, bringing experience to the team. Obviously, you've been to the Super Bowl back-to-back -back years, and, and you won one of those. Just what what is that big game experience? What what kind of vibe does that bring to a team that you know? There's not a lot of guys on the team who have been to a Super Bowl. Man, it brings a a, a lot, it, and it brings a, a edge and motivation to you. Uh, you know, what I mean, once you once you really taste that that that, that type of uh, success, uh, you want to do it again. And I can say during our time in Kansas City, it, that, that was the goal day in and day out. After we got the, before we got the first one, and after we got the, the won the first one, the, the second one, that's, that's what we want to do. And I can still attest for those guys now. Uh, that's the goal for them going into this season is really to get back to that dance. Because once you taste it, man, it's an electrifying feeling. Uh, you know what I mean? It's a feeling like no other. Uh, you know, in, in life, you, you, you don't let get. Key moments like this, but what's you know what I'm saying? It's kind of rare to get these these type type of moments, these type of feelings. And but once you get it, man, you, you're chasing it every day, every down, every play. Um, two part question here, Bashad. Um, I know you said you had shoulder surgery in the off season. Where are you at in your recovery with that right now? Uh, I'm 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 on track. Uh, you know what I mean? It, the doctors there really allow me and, and tell me when, when I'm ready to get on the field. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just as anxious as everybody else to really see me in this purple and, purple and gold and get out there going. Uh, and, but at, at this time, I'm just taking the process, really getting into my body, you know what I'm saying, as well as getting into my teammates. So I feel like it, it's me being here, even though I'm dealing with, with an injury and being on the sideline, able to really build the commodity with the guys and really show that I can really be there for you 
why are you, you competing, you know what I mean? Like, like, so that they understand who I am as a person, you know what I mean? I'm not coming in here uh, to be selfish or coming in here to look to, to be the guy. Or I'm coming to be part of the guys that's already here. And I feel like that, that's what's going to really change the, the commodity of the room and really give, give everybody the juice, you know what I mean? I've been there, you know what I mean? But that don't make me better than any of these guys, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still learning. And it just, it's just for me to build them and show them that, all right, this is what we do to get here. I, I done did it, I done seen it. Uh, but it's up to us as a group to really come together and, and get to that goal. Mm -hmm. And what, what's your jersey that you're wearing? Uh, this this uh, Scotty Pippen High School jersey. Is there a reason? Ma'am? Are you a big Scotty Pippen fan? Come nah. to the same town? What's the backstory behind nah, that? Nah, I just like basketball jerseys. You know what I mean? All the greats. Uh, he's one of the greats. Uh, you know what I mean? Hall of Fame player, you know what I mean, him and Michael Jordan. He, he just got just as many rings as Michael Jordan, you know what I mean, he just don't have the stature. Uh, but but Scotty was, was a, a big part of that team, you know what I mean? And I really feel like me and Scotty are really, really like similar in, in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, like that we come in and do what we do. We don't fight for the credit, uh, we just work.